Every day, members of the Azerbaijan Red Crescent pack bags of food and supplies to help up to 300 people still living in Terta. Parts of the city have already been heavily damaged by shelling. Their supplies include shovels, just in case someone needs to be dug out of the rubble. Here, the ceasefire is clearly not in force. As the sound of artillery fire echoes, they calmly carry on packing tomatoes and cucumbers. As we organized our interview, the explosions continued. But the volunteers told us they weren't concerned for their own safety. Since the fighting started on September 27th, my colleagues and other local young people have joined us to help people with their daily needs, especially food and water. Our aim is to help people and serve them as much as we can. We are in our own land and there is no need to be afraid of anything. Outside, the sound of fighting continued. As the volunteers walked the short distance to take supplies to a nearby shelter. This has become a more common sight in Azerbaijan. People taking to underground bunkers to stay safe from the fighting. Then it's into the car to make more deliveries. The streets are largely empty now, as many people have fled or daren't go outside. Here they are taking care of 12 families, 30 people in total, many of them internally displaced by the original Nagorno-Karabakh war in the 1990s. They all share one bunker, which they say they use every day. It's not clear how many people remain in Terta, but while the shelling continues, many people are worried and they still need help. The people here say this bunker was built four years ago after another bout of heavy fighting. When they bomb the city, we all come here, but we are afraid of nothing. We will live here until the end of our lives. As you can see, our children are with us. During the previous wars and attacks, we haven't left our region and we will not leave it now either. But with no ceasefire in sight, they could be living underground for some time yet. Andrew Hopkins, TRT World, Terta, Azerbaijan.